Here I'm going to describe a one-level OLIF procedure, a transcambine approach for L4-5 spondylolisthesis. Traditionally, uh, spondylolisthesis is a typical um, indication for fusion. And in this patient, as you see in the CT, more visible, you're dealing with the grade 2 spondylolisthesis, meaning the shift is uh, more than... Uh, or at or more than 25% as you see here in the MRI it is less pronounced but with the flexion extension we had a mobile stasis and patient had L4 and L5 radiculopathy that correspond to this conservative therapy has failed so we decided to do the surgery but, um, I want to mention that this is the fourth uh, fusion case of the day previous to that we did a uh, four level and two three level fusion in the same day so this is nothing unusual that we do even sometimes up to six fusions a day where with a good team that we have in Crookston this is possible now I'm going to show you the operative pictures and I want you as well pay attention to the time we started the surgery which is uh, 4 13 and here um, as you see the time is this uh, winter time so but practically uh, Around uh, uh, 4.30 we started the surgery and here we go with the localization and here I'm doing the, my midline marking, my trajectory of the disc marking in the 4.5 and here I put my marking, I, I notice on the skin I marked the trajectory of the disc and now first thing we do we put a gemsheet in that's practically when we start the surgery at 420 here 520 but this is again the different uh, time setting on the x-ray machine so we are starting with the gemsheet in place get the bone marrow soak the tricalcium phosphate now we put the neuromonitoring probe and we put the k wire in we dilate and I want to you pay attention to that lifting and distraction that you see when you see that the air gets sucked in and now here you see again air sucked in when the tube is in place the tube has passed the, the pedicle and it's about a centimeter in so this is a good position now we do a discectomy and cage is being inserted Remember, we started the surgery at uh, 420, and here is 428, already the cage is in place. Now, we put the um, K wires in L4 and L5, as you see here. And after the K wires are placed, we use the decorticator to roughen the surface of the facet and put bone marrow and tricalcium phosphate on it and then the screws are going in as you see first in L5 and then in L4 and then the rod is in place and here we give epidural steroid injection for post-operative pain management and practically this is our final at 4.41 so practically in 21 minutes we have done the surgery we spent another three four minutes for to skin uh, close the skin but the skin closure in this case is practically um uh, as you i'm going to show you some pictures with steroid strip and some subcutaneous here is the picture of the operative uh, records that uh, show that we did all the for listesis our blood loss was 16 cc our skin to skin time practically well from the time we open the skin to the time that we put the last stitch is 24 minutes and I want to show you as well some pictures of the um, surgical fields after the surgery that I'm going to open up and show you this is practically the picture after we close the skin and then we put uh, some steroid strip and practically this patient are able to go home same day or, uh, or 
practically extremely rare that they stay more than 23 hours in the hospital. So this is for all practical purpose a day surgery. Um, even though um, we did a fusion with cage and uh, four screws and the time as well as blood loss really justifies for that to be a day surgery. Thank you. If you have any question, please contact me or leave comment and I'll answer them the best I can.